Hey guys, Duchess Braids here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have my friend Kanisha here and she is headed on a vacation guys and this is also a wedding vacation. So we're doing a style today that's going to give a mix of both wedding and vacation all in one. So we're obviously going to start off with the middle part. You guys know how I do. I'm always going to start with the middle part and I'm going to clean the middle part up because we're kind of going to need it for sure. Um, but we're doing six stitch braids with some small braids in between. This is a style I haven't done in a really long time. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've really done like big stitch braids on my channel. So why not take it back to my roots and show you guys how it's done if you've forgotten how it's done. So today I'm using my precision comb from Duchess Braids. You guys can find that on my website. This is one of the reasons why my parts are so crisp and neat is because I'm using a comb that is just chef's kiss. So I'm going in now and I'm ensuring that I can get six braids. So you have to make sure that you your braids are proportional. And so I'm always moving back and forth with my parts to just make sure that, okay, I have this first braid parted out, but is my other two braids going to fit? And not only is my other two braids going to fit, but I am putting some tiny braids in between these braids. So I want to make sure I have enough space for that to fit as well. So when you're braiding, you want to make sure that you factor in every single part of the style and just don't just go in blindly and think you got it down because you have that middle part you still have to pay attention and go back and forth back and forth to ensure that everything is proportional so now that i've part out that first braid i'm gonna jump right into the tiny braids because this small tiny braid is going to go into that big braid so i don't want to start the big braid first and then like oops the tiny braid um do the tiny braid afterwards because we're going to have to put the end of that tiny braid into the bigger braid all right so a tip for my tiny braid is that i never add any hair or extensions into my small braids that's unless the client has really super fine hair and it just looks so small and thin when i do it maybe i'll add a couple strands but it really takes a lot for me to add any type of extensions to these tiny small braids that i put in between the big ones all right so normally i braid the small braids and i don't braid them out all the way at the end i don't plait them out all the way i just plait it out a little bit so that when i put it into the bigger braid i don't see like a braided piece of hair in between it kind of just blends into the bigger braid all right so for this style i'm going to be leaving out some curly pieces in the front which is something that i um see that is trending this summer and i even want to try it so i might end up posting a video similar to this on myself because i really thought this style was so cute and I've been seeing this style all over and it's just super cute with the little curly pieces in the front. So that's what we're going to do today. But since we're doing six braids, we're not going to put the curly pieces in this first braid. We're just going to put them in the other two braids or the other four braids that's up at the top in the front. So as I'm doing my stitching, guys, um, you guys already know, like I kind of part out the front part of my hair and I start to um, braid it and then as I go I use my pinky finger and I stitch up into the middle I never stitch going all the way across as you can see I'm using my pinky and I'm going up into the middle and I'm slipping that hair in between my thumb and my pointer and I keep going and as I'm adding the extension hair I'm doing this really super duper quick but as I'm adding the extension hair you guys like I'm not adding a lot of hair because we don't want this braid to be so thick because we're going to end up putting it into two buns at the back um, this is where the whole uh, wedding vibe vacation vibe comes into play is we're going to end up adding some curly pieces to this braid and then we're going to wrap it up into two buns at the back so uh, one thing i wanted to teach you guys is uh as I'm going around the corner of her ears or curving around her ear, you can see that the stitches by her ear is more triangular and they're a little bit smaller while the stitches on the other side of that is a little bit bigger and wider. So that's just a tip for you guys when you're doing this braid is that your stitches that goes around the curve of the ear is going to be a lot smaller and more triangular in shape and then the ones on the other side is going to be a little bit wider because it's taking that turn um 
at, on that bend so it's going to be a little bit wider on that side so now i'm going in with another small braid and this one the end of this is going to go into the braid on top like the next big braid so i'm gonna braid this out i'm not gonna braid it all the way out i'm gonna braid it a little bit and then i'm gonna leave it and now i'm gonna go in and part my next braid right now i'm just doing a nice part you guys love my parting because it's just so detailed and neat and of course i do credit that to not only scale you do have to have the skill but also like the comb helps tremendously i really enjoy uh parting it's so soothing to watch and to do you know guys know i can be a little bit particular on my parts and the comb definitely helps with doing that and i like nice clean parts and it makes a big difference in your styling so right now we're going to take a quick commercial break so i can tell you guys what i just did so you guys i did sign up for the sephora squad and i really just wanted some more representation of hair on the sephora squad especially hair that is not the usual like 3c 3b hair just more representation and you guys do definitely relate to my texture hair and not only that but the different textures that i showcase on my pages so i just wanted to be a part of that now with signing up for the sephora squad they did ask us to have our audience leave some testimonials which could impact our i guess uh selection and so i wanted to stop by and ask you guys if i have inspired you or impacted you in any way on my channel i know i have a ton of new subscribers but I want to speak um, to both my OG and my new subscribers. And if I've impacted you in any way, if I've taught you, I've been teaching on YouTube since 2017. And if I've taught you how to braid, taught you anything new, if I've inspired you to try a new style, if I've taught you a style for you to try on your kid's hair, on your sister's hair, on your client's hair, whoever, or most definitely on yourself, um, if you can stop by the link, I'm going to post a link in my description and just let them know, um, how I've impacted you. If I've, uh, taught, told you about a product that you loved, or if I've just, uh, put you to sleep <laughs> with my voiceovers or just by watching me and being a staple in your house, I would love for you guys to write a comment, um, or testimonial of how I've done that. And that would help a lot in getting me into the sephora squad and so that i can uh try to make a difference when it comes to just being a representation of different styles and a different texture hair and a different look on hair pages and hair influencers so yeah so y'all know i don't ask for much but i definitely wanted to like let my guard down and just reach out to y'all and say if you can stop by and leave a quick testimony it doesn't have to be something grandiose unless whatever is on your heart or whatever is on your heart to leave and to say just stop by the link and just say something really quick on how i've impacted your life while being on youtube and for my new subscribers thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing let them know why y'all click that follow button did i do something to entertain y'all do y'all just want to see my growth here on out because i know my ogs have seen the tremendous growth that i've i've made um over the years just from having videos with just music on it to finally learning to have a voice and speak up and i'm still growing because i'm i still like even now i'm like coming on the camera and talking so i'm growing each and every year and you guys have been with me seeing that growth and so yeah leave a leave a testimonial but anyways i want to jump back into this video Okay, so now I'm on my last two braids, but we're still going to keep it proportional because we're going to end up putting those same small braids we did in the beginning on both sides of her hair. So I'm going to braid that out and then I'm going to show you guys how I was able to get those small pieces in. But one more pause because y'all, I've been MIA now for over a month and i would love to say that i was super duper busy and just couldn't upload but y'all i've just been in my feelings sitting on the couch like feeling a little lost and i do feel like as not just content creators but people in general uh sometimes we just get in our head a little bit about stuff and we get a little down and you don't really know why but you just know you're in your feelings and that's just what i've been in for the last month so i do want to apologize for 
just not being present for the month and not showing up and giving you guys styles to latch on to and like, you know, to create and inspire. But yeah, I'm back, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate taking long breaks because I just feel like, damn, like, don't forget about me. <laughs> but also, like, it's been a whole summer and I haven't been inspiring and like giving you guys style to latch on to and to try. And, you know, I think about stuff like that and it is like disappointing to like, you know, not feed your audience with the things that they need, but I'm going to try my best to stay on top of things for the last month of the summer. Yeah, so give me some grace, please. I'm begging and I'm going to try to just be back and be consistent, but I can't make any promises. But anyways, I don't want to miss too much of this video, so let's dive back into it. So as you can see, I did do some small pieces in the front and for this braid, I'm going to do the small piece again. So I just want to show you guys how I put that small piece in it's a little bit awkward on this style to get it in because normally i grab the hair with my left hand and not my right hand um but i really wanted this piece to lay flat i didn't want to uh add it in how i would normally add in so i did hold the hair with my uh left hand which is unusual and i grabbed for grabbed the curly pieces with my right hand and i just kind of slipped it in and then just continued to braid and as i'm braiding i asked the client to kind of uh hold on to it so that it doesn't slip out she's not pulling it she's just holding it so i don't like grab it in while i'm braiding and then i just continued to braid you guys and i did four pieces so i did you know i'm i have six braids going so I did it in the front of the top four braids. And I do braid back a little bit, not too, too much. I did braid back a little bit before um, adding in the piece because I needed some strength in the braid before I start just jumped in and started adding in that small piece. And I didn't want it to look act, um, look weird or look too huge. So I wanted to, it to look natural slipped in it um so and that's how it looks it just looks kind of you know obviously it's a curly piece hanging out <laughs> but i didn't want it to be obviously like put in it so yeah that's how i added that small piece this is how the hairstyle is turning out i'm on the last braid right now and yeah so i'm gonna braid it down and then i'm gonna end up you know putting the back pieces in two buns and you guys are going to see how i approach that because with every style you always you might bump into some roadblocks that you feel like oh this did not turn out how i expected it to turn out but we're gonna have to find a way to fix it and make it look good so these stitches look amazing like i'm so proud of myself y'all it's been so long since i've really like owned in on some big stitch braids and as you can see i always put my thumb behind and kind of loosen that hair on their nape because a lot of people struggle with that hair on their nape pulling and it really hurts and it could be really uncomfortable so you guys should really practice doing that with your clients it's just kind of pushing back on that hair at the nape and like loosening it up some so that it doesn't hurt your clients once they're up out your chair or you know so now i've uh put some rubber bands on three of those braids at the back and i'm just gonna wrap them and as i'm wrapping them i'm pulling out the long curly pieces that i added in and you guys are gonna see like honestly it didn't look that great at first <laughs> because the hair was just too long and maybe the bun was too small but i'm gonna just keep going on the other side and then i'm just gonna end up cutting those pieces down some we're not gonna get rid of them but if she wanted to get rid of them you know but i just think it definitely makes the wedding aspect of the style look really really nice so uh we're gonna leave those but i'm just wrapping it the bun around but as i'm wrapping the bun around i'm pulling out the curly pieces out of it All right, so now I'm taking my little razor and I'm just cutting them some and just kind of trying to adjust them to where it doesn't look so crazy. Um, but yeah, this is how the style turned out, you guys. Look at those cute little pieces in the front. The stitch braids are popping in. Tell me this doesn't look like a great, oh, we're on vacation in Mexico, but we're also going to a wedding hairstyle. Like, this looks so amazing. Uh, the stitches look great. I love the small braids in between. 
and yeah let me know how you guys feel about this style in the comments if this is something you would try and thanks again for watching and the link to the sephora squad testimonials will be in the description thank you